Insulin, um, as we all know, is pretty much what diabetics take to help them get through the day and live. And it was originally discovered back in the 1800s um, uh, in dogs. You know, a, a scientist realized that his dogs who were missing their pancreas, uh, their pee had a lot more sugar in it than the dogs with their pancreas. And essentially from there on, we knew that there was some sort of a connection between the pancreas and blood sugar. And that, after you know, 50, 60 years of research, uh, we had um, Frederick Banting and Charles Best, uh, some scientists who, who were trying to isolate insulin from uh, cows, and they actually were managed to, do, managed to do it pretty well and purify it from baby calves. And that's how uh, people with diabetes got their insulin all the way up until uh, 1953, or up until 1977 when uh, Genentech, uh, the local Bay Area company, uh, decided to write in the code for insulin into E. coli and have the E. coli produce the insulin instead of uh, collecting insulin from cow pancreases or dog pancreases and purifying it that way.